Hey everybody out there on YouTube, my name is Evan, and today I'm gonna show you a potential solution to a problem I was having in Serato. Uh, once I started using stems on a regular basis. And as you all know, stems tends to lag the computer out quite a bit. But what I had actually done, I got a brand new computer and I was still running into that problem. And the new computer I have is very fast. It you know has a separate video uh, card for specifically for video and everything. And so I didn't I couldn't understand why I was still getting problems with choppiness. You know, I was getting choppiness in Serato video uh, whenever I'd load a track or whenever I'd start using stems quite a bit. <clears throat> So I'd get choppiness. And I think I may have found a solution. I'm not 100% sure. This is my secondary computer that I'm going to go ahead and apply this solution to. The other one, I applied the solution and it seemed to work great after that. So um, whenever I get a new computer, I do a brand new fresh install of Windows 10 and then I upgrade to Windows 11. So, uh, you know, I, I get rid of any kind of from I, not, I get rid of any kind of software that comes from any company that I bought it from. So it's a, a fresh, clean, new install, and then I update everything in Windows 11. But uh, for some reason or another, <clears throat> uh, it doesn't it doesn't play certain video very well in specifically in Serato. So one thing I, I did first, one solution I, I went to first is to install this VLC media player. So VLC plays all kinds of different uh, video, right? And so I, I came over here, went ahead and installed it uh, for Windows 64-bit. And yeah, so it went and installed. Now, I'm doing this in two parts because I'm not sure which solution actually worked for me. I couldn't really tie down what worked, but I'm going to show you what I did in order to get it to work properly. So I went ahead and downloaded Video LAN, okay? And then I also downloaded LAV. LAV codec, okay? And you can actually get this on something called GitHub. Came over here. And it has like the latest releases and all that kind of stuff for, it's called uh, Lav Codec, right? And I, I went ahead and clicked on this installer here. It's 14.9 megs. So I, I downloaded that as well. And I'm not sure which one of these worked, but one of them did, or maybe having both of them in there worked. So, you know, my, my Serato video again was running really, really weird and the, I was able to fix it this way. So I'll go ahead and open up this, go to downloads and let's go ahead and install VLC. I don't know if like this application allows certain files to run better, certain video files to run better in Serato. So let's see here. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and install this and we'll just, we'll go ahead and run it and make sure it's all good to go. Um, I'm just gonna turn these off, continue. So I know that's on there now. And I'm gonna also install this thing called LAV filters. This is a slightly different application. I'm just gonna install it here. It just worked. And I found this in a forum. So I installed both of those. 
And I'm gonna just go ahead and restart it real quick. Restart the computer. Cool guys, so we're back at the Serato DJ Pro page. And I have those two other programs installed and everything. I'm gonna go ahead and bring up the video. I'm just running this in standalone mode right now on this computer. So let's see here. Let's let's split it up also. So to see what the effect of two videos would be. Now, like I can come down here. Let's let's click on Funk Vids. Let's say um, I'm gonna keep the volume completely off just for these issues because you can actually see this video playing. All right, so you can see that this video is playing. It's it's playing really great now. It's it's actually really nice and smooth. It's smoother than the video that I had on there before, right? So it's, it's a lot smoother. It's running in its separate window. And let's see, let's go ahead and, and start running this other video. So the other video is now playing and you can go back and forth, real simple. The other video is doing great too. Coming out in that separate window. Now, one of the things I did to try to test this out, or that I'm gonna try to do to test this out, is I'm gonna run it so that it's trying to do stems. In the meantime, the way you do that is by dragging one of your video files over to your stems folder. So I'm gonna do that one. I'm gonna do another one. Two, I'm gonna do another one, three, and four. Let's see if it has an effect on, on video. So right now it's actually analyzing, it's analyzing those videos. And I don't see any kind of lag at all. Like I'm not experiencing any kind of lag. Whereas before, if ever I'd try to to adjust the stems or anything like that, or I mean, not adjust stems, but apply stems, <clears throat> it would start lagging and getting choppy. So in the forums that I read, it said, um, I downloaded the LAV codec for free for Windows and it worked for me. Looks like MacBooks have their own built-in codecs, but for Windows, you have to download them. That's for from looking for my Jeep um, in the Reddit, uh, forum that I, that I looked at. So it looks like it's running a lot better, like in general too, like these videos are coming out a lot smoother, a lot cleaner. And, uh, let's, let's go ahead and actually, let's let it run at high output quality and 720p and see if that has an effect on anything. And that's running great. And it's still analyzing stems in the background. And now the video is running great. Whereas in the past, I'd be having all kinds of problems. It'd be all choppy and stuff. So I'm not you know, guaranteeing this is going to work for you, but it looks like it's worked for me. Um, I'd really be interested in knowing how it turned out for you if if you tried this out and it worked for you or if it didn't work for you. If it didn't work for you, I'd like to know too because then, you know, more people would, would have a better idea of if this is going to apply to their situation. So... I really, guys, uh, appreciate you watching this and everything, and I hope you get a chance to try this out if you haven't yet. Uh, looks like for Mac, you won't necessarily have to do this, but, you know, it's, it's an idea that works for me. So, you guys, have a good day now.